Welcome to Albert. We're excited to help you get started. Albert was built with both teachers and students in mind. Whether you're interested in Albert's rigorous standards-aligned practice, detailed narrative explanations that push students to view practice as an opportunity to learn, or data reports that allow you to easily use student data to inform your instruction, this video will ensure you're ready to implement Albert in your classroom. We'll cover how to set up your account, how to navigate Albert's vast content library, how to create your classes, enroll students, assign practice, and track student data. You may want to have your Albert account open in a second window to follow along. Feel free to pause, rewind, or fast forward the video as needed. The first thing you'll need to do is create an Albert account. In the top right corner of the main landing page, click sign up. You'll see that you have several options. If your school uses Google or Clever, you can sign up by using Google or Clever single sign-on. Otherwise, you can sign up by entering your name, school email address, username, and password. Select that you'd like to sign up as a teacher and fill out your title, school zip code, and school name. If you signed up with your school email, you'll receive an email asking you to confirm your account. If you do not receive a confirmation email, contact hello at albert.io. You'll now need to set your content preferences. You'll need to confirm your country, the state you teach in, and select any relevant national standard sets that align to the courses you teach. This will automatically filter out standards from states and national publishers that don't align to your needs. You can edit your content preferences at any time from the My Account tab. To access all of Albert's content and features, you'll need to be approved on your school's license by your administrator. You can check to see if you're approved on your My Account page. Contact your school's Albert administrator if you do not have access to your school's license. If you're not sure who your school's Albert administrator is or need support getting approved, email hello at albert.io. Once you're approved on your school's license, you have access to hundreds of subjects and thousands of questions. Now that your account is created, let's take a tour of Albert's extensive content library. Your account grants you access to every subject within the library. There are a few ways to efficiently find the subjects that are relevant to you and your students. You may want to consider taking the Discover survey. This survey will ask you a few questions, including what subjects you teach, which grade levels you teach, and what your practice needs are. Once you've made your selection, Albert will suggest subjects that might interest you. You can retake this survey as many times as you need as your instructional goals change throughout the school year. You'll notice that all Albert subjects are also organized along the left-hand side of the screen by content domain. This includes our AP subjects, college entrance supports, an ever-growing suite of literature subjects, and state exam content. You'll also find a wide selection of middle school, college, and professional subjects. The quickest way to navigate to a subject of interest is to type in the subject name in the universal search bar at the top of the page. Once you've found your subject, click into it to explore. Albert's subjects are organized to make sure it's easy to find the questions relevant to your students. Most subjects have a practice tab, typically organized by units and leveled subtopics to help you easily scaffold student understanding. Click into any topic to explore more. As an Albert teacher, for any question, you can click Show Solution to preview the question's detailed narrative explanation, rate of accuracy, and its associated standards and tags. Some subjects contain a free response tab, full of free response questions that offer teachers and students exemplar responses and rubrics. You may also notice your subject contains an assessments tab. Here you'll find pre-built assessments so you can easily assign rigorous intentional practice at the click of a button. 
For more information about what is housed within a particular subject, click the Overview tab. Now that you have an understanding of how to navigate the library, let's get your classes set up. Click on the Classes tab at the top of your screen. Click the blue New Class button. We suggest creating a separate class for every period or section that you teach. This will allow you to analyze data by class period. Give your class a name and choose its school association. You'll now see that class populate within the main classes tab. It's now time to enroll students in your Albert class. Click into your class and navigate to the People tab. There are several options for enrolling your students. You can invite your students by entering their emails or uploading a CSV of their email addresses. They will receive an invitation to their email. Keep in mind that this option requires students to have access to their email inboxes. You can also import your roster from Google Classroom. Before you choose this option, make sure your roster on Google Classroom is finalized. You can also roster your Albert classes by utilizing our LTI integrations. If you are unsure if your LMS is compatible with Albert, reach out to your Albert administrator. For more information, visit our Help Center. Lastly, you can invite students to your Albert class by utilizing a join code. You can access this join code by clicking show code. Instruct students to visit albert.io slash classes and to click join class. Here they can enter the code and be automatically enrolled. To view all enrolled students, navigate to the people tab within an Albert class. The People tab is also where you can add co-teachers. You may add any teacher who is approved on your school's license as a co-teacher. Being a co-teacher allows you to assign assignments and view student data, similarly to the teacher. You can also remove co-teachers at any time. It's now time to assign your first assignment on Albert. Practice on Albert is incredibly flexible, making it a great engagement tool for students. In this video, we'll give an overview of two practice pathways available to you. To assign specific topics, skills, or standards across Albert's library, use the Assignment Builder feature. You can access it via the purple button in the main blue toolbar. The Assignment Builder allows you to search by a variety of filters across all of Albert's subjects making finding relevant content easy. If you're hoping to allow students to practice at their own pace, you may like Albert's independent practice option. This is a great low lift option that empowers students to use their own data to target their greatest areas for growth. For more information about both of these options, visit the Help Center. The last topic we'll cover in this video is data. There are many reasons why you'd want to dive deeper into data on Albert. To access your data reports, select the Reports tab at the top of your screen. Albert currently offers four different data report options. Data by assignment, data by student, by question, and by standard. Each data report is laid out in a way that makes taking action easy. For more information about how to use reports for data analysis, head to the Help Center. We hope you're excited to begin your journey on Albert. Should you have any additional questions, contact us at hello at albert.io.